guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness. Today's topic is piggybacking off of last week's video where I shared with you how I developed a positive relationship with food and stopped hating myself for my food choices. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go back, actually look down, and you can find it in the description of this video so that you can watch that and get all caught up. Today's topic is how to find balance with and prioritize food. If you liked today's video, please do me a favor and like it on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. They're coming out every Monday. And also I'd love for you to share this one out in case there is someone in your life who would benefit from this info. And I'm kind of a hot mess today because I got this new whiteboard and it's like oversized and it's really big and exciting. And I'm way more excited than I should be. I like <laughs> got a little messy already. You might remember from last week's video that one of the mantras that I go by to have this positive relationship with food is that no food is off limits. And that's totally true. But if that is the case, then how do we not just drown in a vat of ice cream and pizza? There's gotta be some sort of prioritization system that we use in order to make our food choices. What works for me is to think about how food is going to serve my body as well as my mind and then prioritize from there. If food serves my body well, then it's probably very nutritious. It probably contributes to a balanced overall macronutrient intake. It has a lot of micronutrients, it gives me energy, and it probably doesn't leave me feeling, you know, like that ugh feeling after you eat something. It doesn't do that. If food serves my mind, then I probably like the way that it tastes or the texture or the smell. There's something about it that I enjoy. Maybe it has an association with a memory or it's something that my family really likes to eat, something like that. Given all that, I've broken down how I prioritize food into four categories. Now this system has worked well for me, but I do wanna mention that it's not like I'm sitting there writing out my macros or my calories and then fitting them into this. This is just a very loose guide, but it has helped give me direction so that I'm both happy and I'm achieving my health and fitness goals in relation to my nutrition. Your system might look a little bit different, but this is what's worked really well for me, so I wanted to share it with you. The first category is food that serves your body, that's a plus sign there, but not your mind. So this is food that you know is really good for you, but you just don't like it. For me, this is about zero to 20% of my overall nutrition, and it's going to include, this is my list, it's going to include some vegetables, um, some accepted health foods, like when you go to a health food store and there's something there that has all the enzymes in the world, it's so good for you, but it just tastes terrible. I'm putting that on this list. And then also for me, some fish. I love a good sushi. If it's sushi, give it to me all day, every day. But if we're talking like cooked fish, then I'm a little bit more particular. I don't like white fish. I don't like tilapia very much. Sometimes I don't even like salmon, it just depends on how it's cooked. This is my list. Your list might look different. In that case, if you have health and fitness goals, maybe it's you wanna lose weight or you want to um, lose body fat, you might have to kinda of just do it and make this number a little bit higher in order to achieve your goals. For me right now, I like a lot of foods that are very nutritious. I think that they taste good, so they don't fall in this category. So I can keep this number down. Plus, I don't have very specific body fat loss or weight loss goals at this time. If I did, then I would have to make this a bigger portion of my diet, but for me right now, this is perfect. The next category is food that serves my mind, but not my body. So this is like your treat foods. This is stuff that is not very nutritious, doesn't do a lot for our body, but it definitely does a lot for our mind. We like it a lot. So these are gonna be your tasty treats. For me, this is about zero to 20% of my overall diet, depending. Sometimes I might like creep up into the 30%, but for the most part, zero to 20% is where it's at for me. This for me includes like chocolate desserts, ice cream, if there could be chocolate in that ice cream, like whew, steer clear folks, I'm going for it. Uh, cheese, wine, and then certain breads and pastas. A lot of this is like nostalgic for me because I come from an Italian family. So, you know, the breads and the pastas, 
are where it's at. But these are treat foods, so these are not going to take up a very big portion of my overall nutrition. Your list might look very different. You might have, let's say, fast food on there. Uh, I'll talk about fast food in just a second. For me, it does not fall into this category, but it might for you. Now, if you have weight loss or fat loss goals, or if I had those goals right now, then I would definitely want to keep this between like zero and 10%, maybe creeping up into 20 sometimes. For me right now, zero to 20% works, but it really just depends on where you are in your fitness journey. So all of this is changeable, but I do like this breakdown because it allows me to kind of just organize and think about my foods in different ways. Okay, this next category is like the golden category. This is where it's at. If you can find food that serves both your body and your mind, that's where it is at. It's stuff that you know is good for you, is nutritious, has that value, but you also enjoy it. This is 80 to 100% of my overall nutrition. Fortunately for me, this is also the biggest category. You can see I have the most food listed here. Most fruits and vegetables fall into this category, most whole grains, um, most nuts, some fish. We already talked about how I like sometimes fish. It just depends if it's sushi give it to me. Lean meats and then sweet potatoes. So um, this is definitely where the majority of my nutrition is. And again, 80 to 100%, but it just depends on how much I'm dabbling in these other categories. The fourth and final category is food that does not serve my body or my mind. This is like zero 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 percent very rarely am i going to eat food like this because this is food that i know does not have a whole lot of nutritional value and also i don't like it like i don't like the way it tastes so i'm not going to enjoy it and i'm not going to reap a lot of health benefits from it this is food that i'd probably only eat if i was on a deserted island or let's say i was at like a party or you know some sort of gathering where i wanted to be polite and and eat something, but um, I'm probably not gonna eat this very much at all. For me, this category does include fast food. I don't know what it is, I just have no desire to really eat fast food. That's me. Maybe fast food for you falls into your treat category. Most candy, I already talked about how I love chocolate, so that one's in my treat list, but most candy I really have no affinity toward, so I can list that here. The last thing is most alcohol. Um, I already talked about how I do really like wine, so that one goes in my treat category, but the other alcohol, meh. So maybe a fun exercise would be to write out your own personal version of this to see what are the foods that you really, really do enjoy that you wanna keep in that treat food list. What are foods that you really enjoy eating and you know are serving you from a nutritional perspective? What are the foods that you just don't like and you know that they don't really serve you very well in terms of your body? If you've got something on this list, you're gonna feel really confident when it's offered to you and you say that you don't want it because you truly don't want it. So if you find this helpful, then I definitely would encourage you to write this out. Again, nothing is off limits, but I think it's nice to have some sort of organization and understanding around what foods you really enjoy from a body or a mind perspective. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it and found value in it, please let me know by liking this video, by commenting, let me know what questions you have, what you liked. If you have another system that works for you, I wanna hear about it. You can also show me that you liked it by sharing this out with anyone who would find this information valuable. And of course, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, so be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a Monday. Have a wonderful week enjoying foods that serve both your body and your mind, and I will see you next week.